Now, residents of Ferdu Liliak uh, Heights in Bramfontein are at odds with the building's new owner. They've been told to start paying rent or they will be given a month's notice to leave. For the past five years, they've paid only their electricity bills. Our reporter, Bafirile Moirani, is uh, covering this part of the story for us and she joins us now live. Of course, Bafedile, uh, what happened last week has now put a sharp focus on buildings around Johannesburg. Uh, these residents being asked to pay rent. How does the building look to you? Does it look sufficient for human beings to live in it? Well, most definitely, Maseho, having to say that what really transpired in the Johannesburg CVD fire incident, it has really put the issue of um, building hijacking or property hijacking into the spotlight once again. But I would certainly say to you that um, I would believe that this particular building, as we entered it in the early hours of the morning, it really um, requires a, a big renovation, um, you know, maintenance. But they, however, as residents here, saying that they has, there is a certain amount of money that they have been contributing whereby they've hired the cleaners and also trying to maintain where they can. But uh, at this point, a very serious matter, a very complex matter at this point in time, the matter that has been in and out of the court, including the High Court of South Africa in the Johannesburg uh, Division. So it, back in 2018, Maseho, um, the residents here um, went to the court after city power in the city of Johannesburg cut their electricity having to say that they are owing them uh, billions of rent and then they were shocked to say that but we have been paying rent to um, uh, the, the property owners how come do we owe uh, such a lot of money then the court ruled uh, in favor of the residents having to say that from now on you will have to start paying um, the, the entire money including of rent uh, to cover up on the debt that you have with city power you do no longer pay the property owners this is where at this point the matter is and then now the new uh, property administrator has resurfaced having to say that he went to the court and then he is now claiming uh, to say that that they should vacate the premises and they should also now start paying him that money that they have been sending to uh, City Power. So we spoke to Tandeka Mpofu earlier on. She's one of the residents here having to say that they're crying foul and hoping that they uh, will get um, you know, help from authorities, in particular from the city of Johannesburg. He has said that they went to the Hawks offices, they went to uh, the MMC of um, uh, safety in the city of Johannesburg, uh, trying to get some help from him uh, in this matter that is actually a dispute for a very long time at this point. So let's listen to what he said to us there, Maseho. We use the rental money as well to maintain the building as well as to pay you, Maspala. So what we are avoiding is exactly what happened in Marshall Town. We don't want to be, hence we are here with you, because we want to people to know what is happening in this building. Because this guy's aim is merely to come and hijack this building, not maintain it, not pay the city. As he claims we are not, he claims to be the administrator, but he does not even know that we are paying. Can I tell you something? This building has about 12 municipal accounts, one building with 10, 12 municipal accounts. So now you can think for yourself as a listener listening, something is not right with this building. Hence we are saying, all we want is the original owner to come sit down with us and we discuss not to be bringing us shady administrators, shady administrators. That's all we are asking for. Hence, we are knocking in all these doors asking for help. Mm, all right, Bafedile Moirani live for us in Johannesburg there. Uh, thank you. Let's leave it there for now.